Hi, uh, let me introduce you uh, to the course uh, on rheology of complex materials. Uh, rheology is a study of deformation of matter. So, why deformation and which type of matter? Uh, when we get up in the morning, uh, we take toothpaste and uh, we apply it on a brush and uh, the expectation is that it should flow very easily when we are trying to remove it from the tube but as soon as it comes on the brush, it should retain its shape. In fact, we notice also that it will retain nice cylindrical shape. So, in this case, what we are doing is deforming the toothpaste while it is moving out of the tube, but at the same time when it comes out, it again retains its shape. And so, the fluid seems to be moving very easily and uh, at the same time, the fluid seems to have some solid characteristics that it retains its shape. So, therefore, uh, like this example of toothpaste where flow and then uh, its shape is important, there are several applications in which uh, deformation and uh, shapes of materials are important. There are various polymeric uh, materials around us, plastics as we call them and uh, they are used in of course, day to day application from uh, soap cases to buckets. But they are also used in engineering applications such as automotive, in aerospace applications and in all these cases, the polymeric objects are made by processing the polymers. And the processing of polymers happens with solutions and melts and these again have to be deformed and shaped accordingly, so that we get an object, uh, let us say the dashboard in a car uh, of a given shape and size. Similarly, uh, when we look at uh, materials for biomedical applications, uh, quite often we might have a drug uh, which is uh, or a, a hydrogel uh, which is uh, injected into the body and initially it is fluid, but once it goes into the body, it becomes solid. So, all of these cases materials are being deformed and uh, it is our interest to study uh, what happens when we deform these materials. And I have already mentioned that uh, they seem to have both solid and fluid like characteristics. And which type of materials are these? Usually these type of materials when we talk about let us say paint uh, are again colloidal systems. So, we have uh, solid particles in a fluid medium. So, therefore, in general uh, the complex materials for which we are interested in deformation uh, usually are either polymeric materials, macromolecular systems or they are also colloidal systems or multiphase systems. So, in this course, uh, we are going to look at rheology, the deformation of such materials and uh, the idea will be to uh, first try to understand the language uh, in which rheology can be talked about. And uh, so, therefore, we will learn about stress, strain, strain rates because these are the variables which are used to describe uh, the rheology of materials. We will always keep in mind the microstructure of the materials because it is very important to know what micro macromolecules are, what is meant by colloidal systems and what are basic microscopic mechanisms which lead to complex behavior of these systems. In general, uh, we need uh, mathematical tools to describe precisely the deformation between stress, strain and strain rates. So, therefore, uh, we will learn about all the mathematical uh, tools that are required to understand rheology and explain it we will also do survey of several existing materials, so that we understand what is meant by rheological behavior, how do we characterize the rheological response of several materials. We also will look at the microscopic mechanisms and their contributions to the rheological response at the bulk scale. So, the course will be structured in the following way, we will learn the language of rheology first, then we will uh, uh, learn the tools which are required to define rheological response which are called material functions and then we will look at several types of rheological response by looking at the data of some real materials as well as looking at some simple models which are used to describe them. And uh, the in general we will come across the terms complex fluids, complex materials because these are fairly uh, complex materials in terms of their makeup because either their length and time scales of response is very wide. We will also come across terms like soft matter which implies that these materials uh, have sufficient thermal energy to undergo several microscopic mechanisms which make their response on the bulk scale complex. 
So, in a nutshell we will look at deformation of complex materials, rheology of complex materials in this course.